this be one of the new biggest TikTok creeps on the internet? Yeah, yeah, I probably, I, I would say so. Today we have the pleasure of gazing with our eyes on the absolute train wreck that is Leslie Clark. Now, we will have to bleach those eyes probably by the end of this video. It gets pretty bad. And I'm so guaranteed that it is that I dare you to leave a comment down below saying disgusting TikToker. Helps the algorithm and it's a little bit of fun. And let's be honest, it's the most amount of fun we're going to have today because a little bit of backstory on this TikToker done some absolutely wild disgusting and crazy shit. Firstly, for being known to be an absolute massive scammer while scamming her fans, which is never really uh, a sentence I feel like you you want to say. To be kind of honest, the fact that this person even has fans. If Tyler makes fun of me, then why do we FaceTime each other every night and text each other all day long? It's pretty shocking. Stole her grandma's car. Here's a mugshot of that. Looking very good, Peter Griffin. I mean, Leslie Clark. And also sending pictures to people who aren't the legal age. Which out of all the things is probably a big fucking no-no. And when confronted about it, how did she act? My name's Ethan. I was 15 and she sent the nudes to me and I'm 17 now. You were the one? You were the one? Yeah, I was 15 when she sent the nudes to me. That my sister has the account logged You are Courtney's brother. My God. Yes, man. My sister has... All the login to that account, all the info, her father even sent his dick to me. Like the whole family's messed up in the head. I have a question, Ethan. And Leslie, please, did you know he was 15 when you sent those photos? You yeah. know? I did. No, I didn't. Leslie, okay. how old did you think he was? Uh, somebody told me he was 18. Why didn't you ask him? Man, I'm going to be straight up with you. I told her how old I was. I said, I'm not allowed to talk to anybody above the age of 17. And that's when she had sent the nudes. Did you and ask for those pictures? No, ma'am, I did not. I showed my sister. Like, right. That's right. She uh, just sat there on a TikTok live like this. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think if I was to be accused of such big allegations, to sit like this while being confronted about those allegations would probably be a big no-go. Not really building much of a case for yourself, if I'm just, if I'm being honest. Now that we're all caught up to date, with the law that is Leslie Clark, we have a look. What's her TikTok like? Is it good though? Is it is it good a place? Oh, it's good, all right. Not good for the the right reasons, just good for all the wrong reasons. You know, all the reasons that we like to watch. Okay, I am tired of y'all fucking shit. Y'all cannot let me be fucking happy for once, can y'all? I always gotta fucking ruin it for me, huh? What the f bruh? What the fuck? Y'all need to start minding your own goddamn motherfucking business, bruh. Yeah, bruh. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's 25 as well, by the way. So we're not really talking to a kid. Although she does have mental issues, which I think really comes as no fucking surprise around about now. Like, it's not like I just said that and wasn't even just one person watching this video being like, oh, really? Uh, I think everyone kind of gathered that. But imagine that, hey? You guys got to start minding your own goddamn business. I know I stole money from everyone, but oh my God, stop talking. Why do you keep bringing it out? A common trait I find with a lot of TikTokers as well is they literally broadcast their whole entire life on the app and they get upset that you then talk about it. Every single TikToker that I have ever reacted to has the same fucking issue. If you don't like being spoken about, maybe don't fucking broadcast every single day of your life to everyone to see. Just just a little pro tip there. I think that would be probably quite good to follow by. What happens in my life is none of your fucking business. Y'all are happy. Why can't I be? I'm a person just like y'all. Why the f can I not, not be happy for once? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Let, 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 Leslie! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, no, sorry, no, no, you, you can't, you can't compare me to you, I'm, I'm, no, 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 it's like she is almost like a different breed of human, she's definitely less hypo sapien and more Neanderthal, if I'm being honest. With that being said, with a lot of the scam money that she managed to steal from people, it's nice to see it's going to good use though. She made a TikTok on where she was spending that money, so that's kind of nice, isn't it? It's like, it's almost like giving money to a charity, but you actually get to see where it is actually gets put. What a win-win. So nice. Hey TikTok. Um, I went to Lowe's today to pick up my dad his Father's Day present. So, I am going to show y'all what I got him. And 
the reason why I got him one because his old one was so rusted and all torn up, so he had to throw it away, right? So, I got him a new one. Why not? I mean, I love him, so why not? So, this is just the, the first few things I got him. I got him the, the extensions for it. Utensils, whatever you want to call them. And last but not least, the big one, the finale of what I got him. I think he's going to love it. And bought him a new girl. I will be posting his reaction tonight or tomorrow, so stay tuned. Damn, bro, that is sick. She never posted that video, though, by the way. Um, also, I saw comments saying this, and I, I feel like right about now is kind of the time to really speak out about this because, look, with comments like, tell your dad, we said happy father's day since we paid for it do they just pay you in good at burger king i mean since you can't pay back people that i thought they were helping you but i gotta say something on this guys if you are being scammed by this person by this <laughs> You almost, you almost just kind of fucking deserve to be scammed. Now, I don't, I don't know. I know that was probably an unpopular opinion, but it's not like she has like fucking Skyrim speech and she outspoke to persuade you. Like, fuck it. In Starfield, her speech level is like level five and she just managed to persuade you to giving her this. <laughs> Persuaded you to give her... I think that would be just, you know, kind of a good life lesson, I think, if anything. <laughs> what are you fucking doing, bro? You trusted this? It's kind of, it's kind of on you. But then when being confronted by that, she has a few things to say about it. I just want to say thank you, because you got a point. You really do got a point. Because it is their own fault. So, yeah. So imagine that. You finally got her. You got her. Ha! Ah, she's going to read one of these. What's going to be her response? Just try to fucking admit it. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, should, I shouldn't have done that. Mm. Oh, well. Oh, no. Anyway, that is kind of a big piece of shit. But then again, if you're really sending money to someone that quite literally stole their grandma's car and got a mug shot because of it, even though she lives at home with her grandma, and it was her grandma that bailed her out and lets her stay at home for rent free, should you really have sent her the money? Now, some of her live streams as well are actually pretty disgusting. Uh, Leslie here is a quite a big vapor. Vape nation. And honestly, it's actually disgusting. So I I'm gonna try and save you the gory parts because generally she just does these TikTok streams where she generally just pukes and vapes and drinks. And it is disgusting. It's like seeing a human at their lowest point, but for some fucking reason, she streams it and it is vile. It is actually disgusting. Although when I say this is one of the most disgusting TikTokers, I'm not joking. It is actually vile and her grandma has to uh, quite literally put up with all of that leslie toddler coughing <laughs> hucking loogies and puking on live <laughs> like i just feel so bad man like a woman in her like i'm assuming 70s having to deal with a 25 year old that hasn't moved out yet and is puking on the carpet and streaming and god the worst one yet there's tiktok live streams in the same house Ugh, man that's no life for a grandma although apparently the one thing that the grandma can't deal with is when leslie swears that's that's her line yes ma'am you have got a sewer for a mouth and i hear it in here with the door closed how about this don't you Dear, get on that phone and cuss like that again. Stay your ass in the house, goddamn. And although her grandma does seem a little bit like a an old grumpy grandma, from what I've heard from a lot of people, and generally from what I've seen, I would be as well. Uh, if this is my granddaughter and having to deal with this on a day to day, I would be grumpy as hell, bro. 
She should be sat there at home watching QVC eating TV dinners, but she can't. She has to fucking look after this one, which has the brain capacity of a plank of wood and just steals from everyone. Like, I would be a little grumpy as well, I think, actually. But one of the things that made me laugh, though, about this, apart from the whole fucking thing, if I'm being honest, but one of the things that really made me laugh was that there's a whole Reddit dedicated to this as well. To Leslie Clark, which is just so fucking funny to me. Like, a whole Reddit. Dedicated. Um, I guess she does have like a fan base. People have made her on The Sims 4. Yes, that's a real, that's a real image. Now, I'm, I'm just saying, that's every YouTuber's dream right there is to be made in The Sims 4. I, I'm just, if you guys could please make me in Sims 4 and send it to me on Instagram, I, I will be flabbergasted. That would be insane. Guys, this, I'm just saying, it's every YouTuber's dream. And I, I haven't even had that yet. I don't think, not that I'm, not that I'm aware of anyway. She's hit the big leagues now. <laughs> Not just anyone gets a Sim 4 character made on them. Ooh, I'm just blushing even thinking about it. I also think some people have her um, Snapchat as well. <laughs> she takes pictures like this and just uploads it. I'm high as a bitch. Where's Khalifa 420 freestyle? Gang gang guys, gang gang. Very epic and very cool. Ah, but that all in all concludes one of the most disgusting TikTokers I think I've ever watched. Now, I'll keep you guys up to date if anything else happens. Lucky for me, I now am a part of the Reddit that literally tells me what Leslie Clark quite literally has for breakfast. So I think I'm going to be pretty well informed from here on out. With that all being said, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.